this quick video for you today, uh, just to tell you that I've got a new keyboard and there's kind of a tryout uh, review demonstration, but I'm going to make it pretty quick uh, so it's easy to edit and easy to upload. It's just for basically anybody who is interested in uh, maybe having a look into buying some older Yamaha equipment or just seeing what my new equipment is if you follow my channel. So there's the Yamaha PS55 and I got this thing completely by accident when I was shopping for this. Um, I was looking for a pretty simple, pretty cheap uh, keyboard that I could learn to circuit bend. And um, I looked on an internet uh, forum and a guy had one of these things for sale for five pounds about five minutes from where I live. <clears throat> and uh, when I went to go and check out the keyboard, he also had a couple more um, by the side. Uh, this one right here, and uh, so I asked him, you know, if it works and all that sort of stuff, and I've never seen this one before, though I'm familiar with most of Yamaha's equipment. Um, he said it was for sale, and I could have both of these things for £10. So I took this home, and um, I plugged it in, and I'll just show you a couple of the sounds you got here. So basically you've got um, your power, your uh, modulation, Celeste, which I'm not entirely sure what it is, maybe you could comment and see what it is. Um, vibrato, sustain, I love it when you have vibrato and sustain on a keyboard like this because usually I pump both up and have them you know ringing out the entire time um, and then you've got two main banks both with um, A and B sections so the first one I came across was the orchestra and you can have both of these on or you can have one of them on you can have none of them on so with the orchestra here you uh, you turn that on. Um, I got the solo off at the moment. Solo is sort of like the lead section, and then here over here we got orchestra, which is the sort of uh, backing section, I guess. But you can really kind of use these in more creative ways. Uh, okay, so basically with the orchestra one, turn that on, and then you got your sustain here, and you got volume. So um, I'll play you a few of the sounds here. You got uh, jazz organ, uh, brass ensemble, jazz flute. So all these ones across the top, and then you can use this A and B selector to select the ones underneath. So you got like pipe organ, string ensemble, clarinet, Hawaiian guitar, marimba, that sort of stuff. So in total, you have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen sounds on each bank, which is really good for a keyboard this size. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to play you uh, the jazz organ sound here with uh, the sustain all the way down, which is like the most basic sound that I found so far. <laughs> Okay, and then you can turn the sustain all the way up, and the sustain on this thing is so lovely because it doesn't... It rings out for ages, it has a really lovely sustain to it, all the frequencies get through it, and all the, the chords somehow don't interrupt each other when you're playing a chord sequence. So, sounds a little something like this. Next up is the Brass Ensemble. You can use the stain all the way down and turn the transposer down here to get some... Bass sounds. Jazz flute, again with a lovely sustain on it when you turn it all the way up. Jazz guitar is a good example of, um, oh wait, sorry, not jazz guitar, Hawaiian guitar, I was thinking that because of the A-B selector here on the, uh, on the keyboard. Uh, Hawaiian guitar with sustain all the way up is a great example of something I'll probably, probably use.
and this is it totally clean uh, with a little bit of transpose taking it down like five semitones uh, but no sustain <coughs> or anything like that <coughs> like the stereo symphonic section where you can add in effects, um, anything between a dry signal, chorus and tremolo, and this is with the chorus. So basically the Yamaha PS55 is a very cool and for me very cheap synth. If you can get it uh, at all I'd recommend picking one up. There are parts of this uh, keyboard that I haven't even delved into because I'm not entirely sure how they work. But um, suffice it to say, there's a lot to delve into. There's um, an arpeggio sequencer on this thing. Um, there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, there's 16 um, different rhythms to choose from, so you can sample rhythms from it. Um, it's pretty light for what it, you know, the size of it and things like that. Um, and just some really great sounds. As you can see, I've really enjoyed playing around on it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you again next time I post a video. Thanks a lot, goodbye.